Got some shiners. All right, we are baited up and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, if you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch this video. And uh, for today, uh, we're gonna try something different. We're uh, actually gonna try doing some freshwater fishing. And uh, I, I love freshwater fishing, but uh, it seems like most of you guys that uh, tune into my channel prefer the saltwater game. But uh, being that it's a weekend and I saltwater fished all week, uh, I'm kind of taking today as like my day off to just do something different, kind of chill and uh, try and see if we can get on some more exotic species like peacock bass, clown knife fish, uh, and also, you know, it would be cool to catch some big uh, native largemouth bass. And uh, I actually uh, just already caught uh, this little baby peacock bass. So we're already on the board for the day, but uh, it was kind of like cheating on it because I got them in the cast net. But uh, we've got uh, like two or three dozen shiners now. And I think that is gonna be primo bait for uh, peacocks or clown knives. And then I also have a lot of artificials. So uh, we're just gonna explore around and uh, see what we can find. So stay tuned. I will see you guys out on the water at our first spot. All right, made it to this first little spot that I wanna try. It's basically like a small little pond off of the main canal, and it drops off uh, to I believe like 25 foot back in here, and right now it's uh, about 17, 18 feet. And I think to start, we'll uh, try dropping down a shiner on the 7.6 Dark Matter Fishaholic inshore spinning rod paired with a 4,000 dial or cetate. All right, let's see if this little guy can catch us uh, our first uh, fish to start the day. And wow, look at that on the screen. It's, uh, we're marking some bait like five, six feet down in uh, 26 feet of water. Not really seeing anything on the bait, but uh, I'm gonna try just dropping down like 10, 15 feet with this bait. And uh, I'm gonna kind of just drift to the other side of the pond and see if we, uh, get a bite. Just marked uh, some decent fish, like five feet down, out here in 20 feet of water. There are some real big marks, like, and it looked like two or three of them. see if this works. And you know what, while this bait is swimming around out there doing its thing, let's take a couple casts with uh, this little Nomad Vibe. Now uh, yesterday I was actually fishing this area and uh, I, you know, I was out here with my buddy Aiden, a uh, huge shout out to Aiden if he's uh, watching. And uh, we were fishing with uh, little Threadfin Shad and we actually absolutely slayed the uh, clown knife fish out of this uh, spot. And I also got some to eat uh, this little vibe lure. So I think this might be a good plug to uh, get one to strike if uh, they're really keyed in on the shad. B 
being that we have shiners and I haven't had a single bite yet, you know, they might really just want the, uh, the shad. Big clown knife fish right there. All right, nothing on the vibe. My bait also died, so I took that out of the water. And uh, I think we should try casting around this little Yozuri. All right, let's see if we can get a bite on this. And uh, the reason I'm not uh, fishing with shad, even though I think that might be the best bait to use right now, is because uh, the shad is schooling up actually out here in like the deeper water and I think it's going to be more difficult to catch it with uh, the cast net and uh, I just want to try like some other alternative methods and uh, eventually when all else fails if we can't uh, get any fish then I'll, I'm going to try and definitely catch some shad. All right we got uh, a decent fish on the Yozuri. Unfortunately the head cam overheated and shut off kind of a bummer about uh, the Hero 9s and the Hero 10s is they overheat a lot. But that doesn't uh, ruin the fact that we did finally break the ice with a nice uh, exotic, look at that beautiful peacock bass right there, gorgeous colors, and such an epic eat too. I actually was up tight along the wall and uh, as soon as the, the Yozuri hit the water this guy just came up and crushed it. So cool. Let's uh, get her back. Alright let's get back out there with this bait and see if uh, we can get another just like that and uh, one way that I can combat the overheating GoPro is um, they make these like white um, longer lasting batteries and if you have more than one you can uh, swap it out and uh, it'll actually stay powered on a little bit longer and uh, it won't work really with uh, the traditional blue GoPro batteries like these ones uh, it just seems to work with the white ones so that in this camera and hopefully she stays on. Now the cool thing is uh, when we hooked that first one I also saw a couple other fish swim out of here. Oh there was an another bite. So there, there might be quite a few peacocks in this little corner. There's a good one. That's gotta be a nice peacock. Oh no, it's a cichlid. Big cichlid. Pretty cool. So uh, I took like another few dozen casts and no other bites on the Yozuri. So I'm gonna try another vibe. This one here is a little bit different than the one I tried earlier. This one is um, like weighted differently. You can kind of see the difference that this one has like more weight in the head. This one has like basically just a little weight right on the belly and uh, basically when it sinks it's supposed to swim like this and it's a little bit lighter so um, yeah, we'll try it and see what happens there's one got one to eat oh yeah ate the vibe oh it's a nice peacock there we go. 
Got this fish out of like 10 feet of water too. That was kind of a surprise. I thought we, it was gonna be a clown knife. Oh, cool. He hooked himself. Another beautiful peacock. There he goes. There's a fish. Oh yeah, finally got a clown knife fish and he came off. Dang. On the vibe though, finally. There's a good fish. Yeah, something real nice. Crush the vibe. Oh yeah. Nice clown knife. Oh man, I love how they jump. They jump like little tarpon. Boom. We're on the board. Barely had him hooked. Really awesome exotic fish here. And uh, wow, he's actually blind in one eye. So he's a one-eyed clown knife fish. Let's get him back. All right, let's see if we can pull out another. I love catching these clown knife fish. They hit so hard. They jump out of the water like a little tarpon and they can actually swim forwards and backwards. So it makes for such an interesting fight, uh, especially on uh, light tackle. And I can't believe that uh, we're doing better today actually with the uh, artificials and uh, this little vibe, you know, perfectly imitates uh, the little threadfin shad, which unfortunately I did not uh, catch today as our main bait, which uh, I caught yesterday when I was out here and uh, that was the hot bait. And uh, I probably should have tried to throw the net around a little bit uh, where we launched the kayak because it was a lot shallower. And I did see some thread fins uh, like, um, you know, right below the surface, kind of like shimmering and stuff. But uh, we had the shiners and we had a lot of them and I was like, oh, this bait is definitely gonna work. But uh, I think I only had like one or two bites on the shiners and it wasn't anything crazy. So I think these fish are really just keyed in on the threadfin shad that are in this area. And uh, the water's really deep here, so it's hard to uh, try and uh, throw the cast net to uh, catch the threadies. Fish on. Oh, wow, crappy, crappy. This is kind of a surprise. So basically how I'm retrieving this little vibe is on some casts, I'm just swimming it back right along the bottom, kind of picking it up a few inches, letting it glide back down. And then on other casts, I'm working it up through the water column. And I'm doing that because uh, I'm marking fish all over and I'm also seeing them uh, gulp air on the surface. So they're kind of like, all over the water column so I, I just like to switch it up so that I know that some of my casts are probably getting put uh, in front of a fish oh there's another one crushed it when we was just sitting there like I wasn't moving it at all go figure of course after I'm just like oh this is what I'm doing oh just lost them
there's a fish. Oh yeah. Got some good weight to them. What do we got here? Pretty heavy. Oh, another clown knife. There we go. Sweet. All right, here's a little bit closer look. Fourth uh, clown knife that we've hooked into today so far. And uh, well, it's probably gonna be the last one because uh, the sun is getting lower on the horizon and uh, I'm shot. I've been out here all day and I've really been trying to just figure these fish out today. Uh, yesterday, like I said, with my buddy Aiden, we uh, got on a, a good bite of these guys and uh, we were catching them mostly on live bait. And uh, today, the, the shiners that we had didn't work. We, I, I couldn't catch shad, so you know I had to do the next best thing and uh, try that Nomad. And I did get one yesterday on the Nomad, so I had a feeling that it would work. And I'm super stoked that we kind of uh, dialed it in and uh, figured out uh, how to consistently catch these guys. So let's uh, get this one back, and then I'm gonna probably uh, maybe you know take a couple more casts and then head on out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 